All right, in this video, I will explain what squashing a rectangle means. Let's use a real-life example to model the squashing action. Imagine four pieces of straw being laced by a string to form a rectangle. Then apply pressure from the top at an angle onto the top straw. What do you think will happen to the rectangular configuration? Did you predict that it will become a parallelogram? What if we were to continue applying pressure from the top? Did you predict that it will become an even flatter parallelogram? As we squash the parallelogram further, does it seem to get smaller? Let's take a look at the effect of squashing a rectangle. So do you see that it becomes a parallelogram? It actually becomes a flatter and flatter one, right? So what is squashing? Now, I put the term squashing in quotes because squashing is not really a mathematical term. So let's describe the term squashing loosely instead of defining it formally. Squashing a rectangle is a flattening action performed on the rectangle such that the points are squeezed together where the interior points get closer to each other but not the boundary points in the sense that the boundary points the space between the boundary points remain the same so let's answer some questions now when we squash a rectangle into a parallelogram now which shape do you think has a smaller area did you predict that the red parallelogram has a smaller area i hope you do the second question which shape do you think has a smaller perimeter? The answer is both shapes have the same perimeter. 